If you got some problems, we'll be there to solve them. We're a squad who can do the job. We're a squad who can do the job. If the monster is in trouble, we'll be there on the double. We're the squad who can do the job. We're the squad who can do the job. The monster mask squad. This is the story of Goldie Monster and the Three Monsters. Three? <laughs> like me! Once upon a time, there was a little monster named... <laughs> Whoa! A little monster named... Wow! That's a weird name. <laughs> and the Scream Screen always surprises Goo. The Scream Screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care... The uh, monster! Miss Shush Monster. She's the librarian at Monstrovia Library. Hi, Miss Shush Monster. Shush! Oh, please keep your voices down. This is a library. Oops. Sorry, Miss Shush Monster. Miss Shush Monster keeps a very quiet library. I certainly do, but it's not quiet today. <laughs> Whoa! What was that big sound? That was Big Burp Monster. Uh-oh! Big Burp Monster is a major burping monster. Yes, he is. And I have never heard such loud burps. Oh, oh shush, shush, please! He's looking for a book, but I have no idea which book. That's because he only speaks in burps. Hmm, how can we help? I need you to figure out which book Big Burp Monster is looking for so that he can leave my library and all this monstrous burping will stop! Don't worry, Miss Shush Monster. The Monster Mascot is on the way! Quietly! Hmm, we need to figure out which book Big Burp Monster is looking for. I'm sure we can use some monster math to do that. Yeah, monster math can solve any problem. For sure, because monster math is Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! We will! Awesome! First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Hey, monster! monster! Today's secret monster math word is... Numbers! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen! Numbers! <laughs> Not yet, Goo! Wait until you see Word Monster again! Oh, right! Come on, Monster Math Squad! Let's go help Big Burp Monster find his book! <laughs> Shush, shush! Oh, sorry, Miss Shush Monster. Thank goodness you're here. I'm at my wit's end with that noisy big burp monster. <laughs> oh, what book are you trying to find? <coughs> it's no use. Big Burp Monster only speaks in burps. But, uh, even if we know which book he wants, how will we ever be able to find it? There are so many books in the library. Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Numbers! Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Numbers! Look, it worked. A monster math monitor. Maybe it can help us. The mail carrier monster delivers a letter to number one monster lane. The mail carrier monster delivers a letter to number two monster lane. The mail carrier monster delivers a big package to number three monster lane. Well, that was helpful. Now we know that numbers can be put on houses. Yeah, each house has its own number. So that makes it easy to find someone's monster house. <laughs> Indeed. Numbers can help you find all sorts of things, including library books.
In fact, all the books in this library are organized by using numbers. Monster math amazing! And since math is all about numbers, let's, let's do, do monster math! math. Oh. Shush! Quietly! Miss Shush Monster, can you tell us more about how numbers are used in the library to help find where a book is? Of course, Lily. There are three different floors in the library and different types of books on different numbered floors. Huh? This is floor number one. Floor number one has books about scaring. Floor number two has books about stinking. Floor number three has books about howling, snarling, and burping. If we can find out which type of book Big Burp Monster is looking for, we'll know what floor number to find it on. Now that Big Burp Monster knows what type of book goes on each floor, maybe he can burp out the number of the floor his type of book is on. <laughs> Great idea, Max. Big Burp Monster. Can you burp out the number of the floor your book is on? Math Squad, help us count the number of burps he burps. One, two, three! That means Big Burp Monster's book is on floor number three. The one with books about howling, snarling, and burping. We can go up those stairs to reach floor number three. Let's go, Squad! Well, here we are. Floor number three. Wow! <laughs> Look at all the books! But which book is the one Big Burp Monster is looking for? <gasps> Shush, please! Oh, do hurry. I think his burps are getting louder. <laughs> Miss Shush Monster, you said the books on this floor are all about howling, snarling, and burping. That's right, Lily. Shelf number one has books about howling. Shelf number two has books about snarling. And shelf number three has books about burping. Good to know. Big Burp Monster, can you burp the shelf number of your book, please? Help us count the numbers again, squad. One, two, three! That means Big Burp Monster's book is in shelf number three. Oh, the shelf with burping books. All right, I'll find that shelf. <laughs> Me too. Let's count them. Shelf number one. <laughs> Numbers are fun. Shelf number two. <laughs> they sure are, Goo. Ah, missed me. <laughs> Got me. Uh-oh. I forgot what shelf number we were on. I guess we'll have to count them all over again. <laughs> Silly monsters. You don't need to count the shelves. The numbers are right on each shelf. See? Oh, cool! Numbers can help us find things and remember where they are. Come on, squad. Let's find shelf number three. One, two, three! Ah, here we are. Books about burping. Now you can find your book, Big Burp Monster. <laughs> Big burp. Shush, please. Uh-oh. What happened to the numbers? Big burp monsters, big burp blew them all around. With the numbers messed up, how will we know which shelf is which now? Ah! Ah! I think I heard something. Did you see word monster? You did? Oh, <laughs> let's shout out the secret monster math word, numbers, together again. On three. One. A big blue monster stomps his feet as he walks. That really shakes the ground. The shaking is causing a problem. The house numbers are spinning around. The monster's trying to find house number three. Where, where can it be? Another big stomp and, oh, there it is! House number three. Ooh. Hi. Well, that was really interesting. Now we know that numbers are still the same numbers, even if they get turned all around. Help us figure out which numbers these are so we can find the right shelf. Oh, which number is this? A one, a two, or a three. Which do you think? Does it look like one, two, or three? Yes, one. Well done. 
<laughs> it was just sideways, but it's the same number. And we know that's not the number we're looking for. Right, Max. We're looking for number three, burping books. Oh, oh, how about this one? Help us figure out which number this one is again. Is it number two or three? Yes, number two. Good for you. Hey, we're almost done. We found numbers one and two. I know what number is next. Do you? Yeah, it's three, like me. <laughs> this must be shelf number three. Let's see. Yes, shelf number three, burping books. Your book must be here, Big Burp Monster. <laughs> <laughs> I think he found his book. What's it called? How to Burp Really, Really Loud. At least Big Burp Monster is gone. Yes, and no more burping. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> we helped Big Burp Monster find his book. And we did it by knowing all about numbers. Monster matherific job, squad. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the, the math. math. We, we did, did the, the monster math. math. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shush, please. <laughs>